marching, marching all the day. Soon he will be home to stay.
walk, you'll be much more slow. Mother will worry if I'm late. It's not the first time she's had to wait. And my girlfriend, she expects me too. You'll make it up to her soon. She'll be all the more pleased when you do. This place of yours, is it abroad? Wines, dined, all paid, full bed and board. Home in a carriage, like a lord. Two or three days, a step out of your way. And then you'll be rich as the king of Cathay. What have you got to eat? A three course menu. Three times a day. And to drink? Champagne rosé. Smoking permitted? What do you say to Havana cigars? Now, now what do you say? There you, you are, are then. then. That's the way. That's, That's how you want it. That's the trick. Joseph goes off home with old Nick and he finds that the old boy doesn't cheat. New clothes, soft beds, and plenty to eat. Yes, yes Joseph is brought up and done up a tree. And then he shows the other as they undertook the way of the fiddle and the way of the book. Yes, the old fellow kept his word. Two days all seven and came the third. That morning the dumb boys, Joseph, as soon as his light, he says, Are you ready? And Joseph says, Right. Do you have a good night? And Joseph says, Yes. And the dumb boys on and he gets them to dress. Have you any complaints? And Joseph says, No. Right you are, says the devil, then off we go. And they get in the carriage waiting below. And the devil says, Hop! And off they go. Only Joseph watching the horses flying feet finds himself holding on with both hands to his seat. With all his might till his knuckles are wet. Hold tight, cries the little old man. Hold on tight. And Joseph would like to get up and jump out, but he hasn't a chance. Take care, cries the devil. See how my horses print. They'll lead us a dance. They're shaking the air. Take care. And the carriage is suddenly traveling up in the air. Hurling, rattling, rolling round the sky, and Joseph's hair stands on end, and he nearly faints. Have you any complaints? Have you any complaints? Higher and higher over valley and hill, faster and faster, up and up they soar. Till the time stands still. And everything is as it was before. <laughs>
book I gave you? Uh, it's somewhere in my kit. Then you got all you need if you so got it. Well, fetch it then. No, only the book. Now back here again. Oh, be careful with that. Don't let it come to harm. You'll lose it like that. Put it under your arms. With a fortune, a fortune. Do you see? Now hold on to it tight and listen to me. This is mine here. That's yours there. Each to his own. So, all square.
I am a ghost among the many. Please, kind sir, can I come in? What do you want? Just a few words with you, sir. But before I begin, you seem to have dropped something, sir. You might miss. Now, what do you want? I'll explain, sir, is this. I have a small case full of rare, precious things to No, thank you. Want. Sir, for pity's sake. Here, take this. Sir, we have our bride. Nothing for nothing is the rule. Each has its little job to do. Now look, sir. Look at these lovely things. Watches, necklaces, and rings. Some lace, sir. No! Don't be afraid to say so. It's true, of course. You haven't a wife. Each has a little job in life. A lucky medallion engraved on the back. No! And what do you lack? A mirror, perhaps? No. Oh dear, what a shame! A beautiful picture. Complete with frame. Ah, it seems to arouse your interest. Is it no? Still no. The same as the rest. Or what a little fiddle. The rest. How much? How much? I said. Well, as we're friends, I won't stand in your way. Try it first. See what you say. We'll fix the price. Let's hear you play.
doesn't know himself. He only knows he must get out, go somewhere else, because he can't go on the way he was. Nothing remains of all his fine belongings. He's strolled alone without a word to say to anyone he's run away. And things are just the way they were, except, of course, he has no back to bear. Come in, I said. 
But this drama of yours is not so great. If once its frontier should be passed, then you'll be in my shore at last. So do not push your luck too far, or then, then my lady, you will find that you are back in bed again. As for her prince, he can't pretend he does not know my patience now is at an end. Changes his mind. <laughs>